All right, guys, as you can see, I'm plugged back in, back to stock. And on my screen, I have Unrevoked already up and running. I will post links to how to install the boot drivers. And after that, it's just show you how easy this is. Now, all you have to do on your phone is enable USB debugging, which you can do in applications, in your menu, settings, applications, development, USB debugging. I already have mine checked. You probably can't see it, but let's see what I can do. Yeah, it wasn't showing up. But it is, as you can tell from the little triangle up there at the top. So you plug your phone in. Make sure it's usually at a full charge. I'm at about 90% right now. But uh, we'll go ahead and run this anyway. And you will get this little pop-up message right here. It says, uh, Unrevoked is about to start. You understand the risk associated with rooting your phone, blah, 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 blah. Well, I already know. I set up my custom recovery already. I will set up a link for the custom recovery I am using. If you do so wish to use that as well, you can just flash it from your bootloader. And I just hit OK. Let it run its process. As you can see, it's actually rebooting my phone. Yes, Unrevoked is still running. already rebooted running the route right now One more reboot. automatically flashes a recovery image for you. Rebooting me into recovery. There you go, and as you can see, it says right there on the screen, done. No more, no more having to mess with any ADB or anything, you just plug in and go. I am now custom rooted with uh, recovery and I'm ready to flash ROMs. Hope you all enjoyed this. It took less than five minutes as you can see once you have the drivers put in. So in the end, easiest and fastest way to root your Evo is Unrevoke 3. Do not use things like Z for root or Super One Click because it just doesn't work on HTC phones. Um, anything else that you guys want to see? Let us know. We will try our hardest to get it done, all right?